Hello students, this is teacher Elena and we'll be learning mathematics. So, our topic is rounding numbers. Rounding numbers. So, first we must look at the rules at how can we do the rounding numbers. Number one, you must underline the number nearest to either tens or hundreds underline the numbers to nearest tens or hundreds depending on the question so number one you underline number two circle the number beside the underline circle the number beside the underline number three see the circle number if the circle number is bigger than number 5, which is 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, you round up. Round up means you plus 1 to the underlined number. Plus 1 to the underlined number if the circle number is bigger than 5. If the circle number is smaller than 5, if the circle number is smaller than 5, which is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, you round down, which means the number of the underline stays the same. After that, you write the number again, but after the underline, all number is 0. All number after underline is zero. Now, let us look at the example that is given. First example is 46. Do you still remember your place value? Place value is number 6 is in the ones and number 4 is in the tens. Number 6 in 1s and 4 in 10s. So let's round 46 to the nearest 10. Is the number round up to 50 or is it round down to 40? So we see the number beside the 10th number which is 6. 6 is bigger than 5. Therefore, if the spot is 5 or more, you round up. If the spot before is 5 or more, you round up. So, it, this answer will be 50. You round up. Great! Now, let's look at the next example. Number 23. So, 3 is in the 1s and 2 is in the tens. Let's round 23 to the nearest ten. Does it round up or does it round down? Round up to 30 or round down to 20? So first, we must look at the number beside the ten. Is three. So is three bigger or smaller than 5. If the spot is 5 or more, you round up. But if the spot is 5 or below, it's round down. Therefore, it is 20. We round down to 20. Now, let us look at final example 544. The tens is 4 and the 5 is hundreds. The 4 in tens and 5 in hundreds. Round the number to the nearest hundreds. Do we round it up or down? 600 or 500? So first, we must look at the number 100 and see the number beside it. The number beside it is 4. If the number is 5 or more, you round up. 
but if the spot number is 5 and below, we round down. So, 4 is below than 5, therefore, we round down to 500. This is how you write roundings. So, thank you children. See you next time.